he runs me off the road. If I wouldn't have got off the road, I would have got hit. A Toyota Corolla, if that car gets hit, I'm done. That car can't take a hit. That car can't take a hit. <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Alright, so right now we are heading to Mod. Just gotta say the bread 13 is like this is this is what I love. I don't I don't care if it's supposedly no more hype for Jordans or if people don't wear them as much. I still see a lot of people wear them. But I really love the 13s and also love the Jordans. Like, I don't know, like that's the definition of retro back from, you know, back in the 90s, the old the OG days. Like I always wanted a pair and I never could afford them because uh my parents wouldn't get them for me and when kids used to wear their Jordans to school I used to want them so bad but I couldn't because they had the money for it so they would give me just a pair of like Nikes that we got from like the Nike store that were like uh, on clearance. Let this meme fill you with determination as you set out to get your Jordans. Right uh, we almost to the mall it is 9.55 five minutes so the store opens. I'm sitting here waiting at the light to turn into the mall then we're gonna go in there and see what happens. Alright y'all, so I still stuck as far as actually vlogging when I'm in public, someone would be staring when I would take out my phone and record, but here we are in the store, and there you can see there are the Bread 13s, and yes, I did contain my excitement and asked them to go get a size 10, and they did get them! I was very happy, and I tried to contain my excitement as I held the bag in my hand and walked through the hallway, and as I looked outside knowing I had my Bread 13s, it just seemed like a better day. The sky seemed way clearer. I can only think of one sound to make. Alright, we actually were able to get them. Man, I'm a little so sleepy at this thing today. But we actually were able to get them. Let's look at them. Okay. 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 What? Yeah. Just like the whole shoe just all together. Looks pretty good. Of course you got it where it looks like some paint. Looks a little weird on some places. But past that and the carbon fiber on the bottom. That thing look good. The hologram. Woo, woo. Yep, that was a success. See you guys, this is what I like. I like this. The reason I like this is because it's no weight. Like, I don't care if it was hyped up or who wants them. I wanted them. And dang sure I was able to get them. I went there when the place first opened to make sure I could get them. I knew this was what I wanted. It was a couple guys there, like seven or eight people, and they were getting them too. I wish I would have, like, vlogged more, but I'm still kind of shy. Like, I'll go to pull out my camera and go to talk or go to, like, you know, get a little thing of the shoes, and then people would just be staring at me. It's awkward. I got to get over it as a vlogger, but for right now, I am able to get these shoes. Yes, I am so proud. You know, I'm not, I'm not even going to leave them in the car. So I got to go get gas. Then I'm going to sit here in Barnes and Nobles and I'm going to study until I go to uh, the little workshop thing. Okay, watch out. I'm in the car. I can see you. Okay, okay, you did good. But we're going to do that and then we'll see what happens and I'll do a kind of more in-depth review when I get back to the house. All right, so y'all know I have the attention of a score. I'm in Barnes and Nobles. I'm studying and I noticed a Bentley pulled up. So like while whoever like had the car was eating, I was just like, wow, there's a Bentley. I was thinking like, you know, this is inspirational for me to like get a better job or to be passionate about acting so I can make a big money. Like one day possibly get a car like that. Then the guy came out of the Cheesecake Factory. I didn't get him on camera. At this point, he's in the car, but he popped the trunk. And the first thing he did was put in his pair of Bread 13s in the back too. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Hashtag goals. All right, and let's teleport back home. All right, here we go. Now, let's just take a quick look at this. Can you see how clean this is? Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Just look at that. Look at this. You see how clean these are? Hello. Like, I'm just saying, like, this is awesome. I'm going to do it on foot. And I don't really do that many shoe videos. I, I said I was going to do more, but I haven't. But you can see the 3M on there. Now, it is one thing that I did see in a review. And this part is lighter, like they said. It's very smooth. I like how it feels. That feels very nice. Oh, man, it feels good. It's smooth. It's uh, very cool to me. But it is really light. So on camera, I think it actually looks a little darker. And I'm using light from the sun because I'm right by the window. But as you can see here... It does look kind of lighter to me. Now, that's not a complaint to mine. It looks very cool to me. And I think I already showed one little thing of it. Can you see it? Focus, camera. 
I don't think it's going to completely like focus, but that does look very good. The stitching looks very good right there on the tongue. I like that. Now the shoestrings, I'm not going to lie. Like I wish they would have kind of put a tip on there. These are the plain shoestrings. If you're paying 190 bucks for these and which I paid with tax, I do feel like they should have the tip on the shoestrings. I see some pictures on Instagram where people are really creative and putting different type of shoestrings. And I'm not going to lie, just changing out the shoestrings, it gives the jordan a complete and different look so i've seen those and i do think they look really cool but this is just awesome i always like wanted this shoe after a couple years back when i first started to collect like jordans and it's funny because back in the day i used to think that these look weird and now like i was just like yo i have to get me a pair and i'm glad i finally was able to get me a pair and for some reason like i didn't know that the bottom was white here i thought they would have went with like a different color but that looks pretty cool they haven't touched the ground yet but um I don't see the reason to spray the stuff to protect them because these aren't going to be that bad. But this is an awesome shoe. I'm very glad I was able to pick this up. And uh, I was just really excited and glad that it was here. And once again, I'll just say, I'm going to speak my mind on it. I'm glad that I don't have to, like, that, that these shoes weren't hyped up too much to the point where I couldn't get them. Or where I would have to go online and pay extra 50 bucks, extra 100 bucks, or they're completely sold out. And the only way I could get them was like close, like close to pay like twice as much. Like I wanted the uh, gold and white 13s that came out in the two pack, but those, but both pairs of those shoes were not worth no $500. No, they weren't. Thank you. But these right here, I'm really glad they weren't hyped up because I was able, I was excited about the shoes. I got up, got in my car, went down there when they first like opened, went straight in there and said, hey, you have these in a size 10. They went and got a size 10 and that's it. I'm just like everyone else. I'm wear them a few times. I'm going to take care of them. I'm going to put them on display, but they're clean. That's how I like it. You know, like I worked hard for my money when I had that job and I've saved up a lot so I can do things like this. And it just feels good to be able to get a shoe that I want, you know, like, I don't know. Most people do like the hunt and all that stuff and they like to have stuff that's rare. But for me, like if I want it, I know that I want it. If it's a shoe or if it's a toy or or anything in life if it's not rare but i want it i'm still gonna get it you know like it doesn't have to be rare and that's why like i kind of like what's going on with jordan now like it sucks that they had to raise the price to like 190 because i really prefer when it was 160 or 165 but the shoes are way more like you don't have to worry about doing a whole bunch of stuff back whenever i did first start to get money for them i couldn't get them anywhere because it would be sold out like everywhere me as a customer it's not a very good experience for me to go and get a shoe and for it to be completely sold out so i I was very happy that I was able to get these. So I'm going to do an on foot for them. And that'll be the end of this vlog slash talking about what happened last night with uh, with uh, having to go off the road and all that stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed. But this has been a vlog by Deadpool Toys 1 2. Wanting to. I'll see you guys in future videos. Bye. So actually from here, I wasn't going to actually do anything else for this vlog except for talk about the Jordan Bread 13s. But later on that night, I went to the gym and it was a huge incident where a car ran me off the road. So here is a uh, recap of what happened and my opinions on the whole thing. Okay, so I got a show in a few days. I think it's like, what? It's 3.19 in the morning. My sleep is really bad, but I slept like during the day. But anyway, I got a show in two or three days where I get to be on the show. You know, like if you're, when you're on shows and stuff, you got to look your best. You never know who's there. You got to do your best. You got to be professional because they could call you back or you could get like a better role or something. So I got this show that I got to do. Oh, it's a mirror. So anyway, I went to the gym. It wasn't that bad. Things went good. And then I was like going over a script that I had right there that I was reading. And most people, you know, they wear earphones in the gym. So I didn't think the one guy in the gym could hear me. He didn't have on earphones so he walked up to me and said are you all right bud you talk to yourself and i showed him the script he automatically started trying to read the script and see the name of it and all this i'm like dude come on and it's and it's not like for an actual film it's just when i'm gonna like practice because i gotta make a demo reel but anyway i left the gym i was feeling good i've been listening to this uh right here 
EXO, like, new album. It's pretty awesome. It's smooth, you know. It got me wanting to, like, do some more, like, dance videos and all that stuff. But anyway, I went to lead a gym. And when you lead a gym, you have to get, I have to get onto the interstate for a few miles and get off at the next exit where I stay. Dude, when I went to get onto the interstate, like, it goes where it merges from a light. And it goes into a one lane. So I made a right and the sign says keep moving and then you're going to merge with the other lane. So it's really easy. So I was moving, but I take this road every day because I go to the gym almost every day, most of the time, every, every single day, especially now. And I know it goes into a one road until it gets onto the interstate. And it's like a little long patch before you actually merge onto the interstate. And then I see behind me, I just see sparks flying everywhere. And I see a car that's black like mine. And it just is coming at me full force. And it like, it hits a bump a little bit. And then I just see sparks go like everywhere. And I'm like, yo, this is really about to happen. And I look at it and I'm like, this is, it's only one lane. There's nowhere else that it can go. And it's coming straight for me. And like you, like I'm, I'm not saying I'm the best like judger, but you have to be good to judge the speed of a car. Like, so say if you yield and you're about to just pull out, you should know if you, you, you should not just pull out in front of a car. You should know how far the car is away from you, you know? So whenever you pull out, you know, you don't hit the car. You have to slam on brakes or get into the other lane. So I could tell, like, I'm in a Toyota Corolla. My car does not get up there. I have, like, a, I feel like I have, like, a V1, like, engine. I think it's really, like, a, like, a, like a V4. But I, there's no way for me to get my speed up. And then I, like, you, like, I don't know if y'all know this, but it can save lives. Because it just saved my life. When I'm in a car, I always think when people have car crashes, they do it right in the middle of the road. And some roads are only two lanes. And I was like, how easy would it be if they just veered off into the grass? Because, you know, like in the like middle between the other lanes, it's usually grass or the land's flat or like it's grass until it cuts off the trees and forests. So here it's all grass, like between the interstate and where you merge is grass. And someone had put a bulldozer there. Oh, my God. So they left a bulldozer there. And here's what happened. So I decided. I had to kind of like I kind of snatch my wheel not to where I'd flip because I wasn't going I wasn't going fast I was like on 40 or 50 trying to get my car up to get onto the interstate where it's 70 and this car's on like 95 or something like it was getting up there and it was like rising and I like veered off like really fast and for a second there it looked like the car went to follow me into the grass I was like dude don't don't do this bull crap dude like don't don't hit me I don't have time for this and me like honestly I really don't want my car to get hit because it's a 2003 model. And honestly, I think if you look it up on Carfax, I'm not going to get that much back because the car gets totaled. So it'll put me in a worse type of situation. So I'm not the one that's just trying to look for a crash because I don't like my car. So I veered off and then the car takes off and its wheels going left to right like you couldn't like maintain the steering and then it takes off and keeps going. So at this point, I'm in the grass. I'm watching it as it keeps like going to make sure that it misses me or do I need to turn even more, even though I'm fully in the grass. And then I notice that uh, I can't hit my brakes because outside, I don't think it rained, but it's like wet and it's like dew and like it's moisture and my car is sliding. So I'm slamming on brakes and I'm about to go right into the bull dozer. And I'm like, are you serious? So I kind of turn my wheel and I'm trying to slam on my brakes and my car slides a little bit and then it stops. And I was like, oh, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Then out of nowhere, the cop comes. Like he's right there as soon as my car stops. And I'm getting pissed because first of all, I'm black. I'm black. You can say what, what you want. If you're not black, you have not lived this life. I go in stores, I still get watched. And usually I'm treated in a type of way until someone gets to know me. And I'm and I don't just mean white like people. It's a lot of other like different types. And I love white people. There's nothing wrong with some white people. We all know that in a race, it's good people and it's bad people, right? That's all. Every race is good people and bad people. In humanity, it's good people and it's bad people. Well, for me, I've seen Indian people. I've seen white people. I've seen black people. I've seen a lot of different people who judge me at first. And when they get to know me, then they're like ready to become like the best friends and all this stuff. But at first, it's like they have to get to know me to make sure I'm not a thug or some type of hoodlum, you know? So... It's like the thing that kind of pissed me off is that I get nervous when I see cops. I don't care what anyone says. I've been pulled over at gunpoint when I was in college and I was leaving a girl's place after we had studied and talked and I had kind of liked the girl at the time. So I was in a good mood. I got pulled over at gunpoint. I've been pulled over on the side of the road. I've had my car checked and for no reason and nothing was in my car. Stuff has happened to me. But if you can't tell from the videos that I make, I'm a really neutral person. And I know that I can sit here, I can take out my phone, I can be pissed, I can make it on social media and complain about how I'm treated. But 
it's like if I do this stuff in front of the cop, is it worth trying to stand my ground and lose my life? I love my family. I'm trying to do stuff with my life. I still haven't found the love of my life yet. I'm not ready to give this life up. And I see that a lot of these people are in uh, are in the mindset to where they have no issue killing you and all that stuff. I have friends that have got their cousins and relatives killed by cops. So I know about this type of stuff. But anyway, back on it. Like, I'm black. I noticed the car that passed me, it was a smaller car and it was a black car. Just like my car, but the dude said it was a Honda Nissan or something. And it took off. And I said, dude, if this cop thinks that this black car is that cop and he did something like she shot at the cops or he stole and they think it's me and he just got the car, this is about to go very bad. This is about to go very bad. Then he pulled over, he pulled up to the glass. This is where I'm going to get you. And I'm not lying, I promise. I don't know if I said this in the video where I did a toy collection, but like two or three months ago, I don't forget a cop's face. And this cop gave me a ticket because this is when I first started to save up money at the job because I knew I didn't like the job and I didn't have that much money to show for it. So when I was trying to save up money, when I was close to my goal, like I had been like budgeting what I ate. I didn't buy any toys. I didn't buy, Jor buy Jordans. I wasn't buying anything. I was frugal. I, I was just eating the free food at work, which is one reason that I got a little fatter and now I'm trying to lose the weight so I can do what I want to do but anyway as i was saying i'm sorry y'all i get off and i hope this thing doesn't cut off or i'm just gonna up, i'm gonna start off where i left off but anyway as i was saying i was sitting here like okay things will be fine and then uh i said a quick prayer and then he pulled up to the glass and i noticed i said that's the same dude that gave me the ticket before like the same dude like literally i was like maybe uh 405 bucks from my goal that i set for myself and he gave me a ticket for 310 dollars. and then on a the ticket he said like i was going 72 miles an hour in a 45 and I was going like uh, 62 because I look at my speedometer and we had just left from a light and I was going downhill and I looked at it when I saw him and I saw I was on 65 so of course I let the car like kind of coast and he put on the ticket I was going 72 so they gave me a ticket for $310 so of course that crushed me for a little bit because when you're trying to save up and you're trying to meet a goal it gets you and this was the same cop and the things that we like we talked for a second and he said man I just wanted to check and make sure you're fine and then he said man I'm trying to go home I'm trying to get in like one more i was just trying to get in like one like one more like ticket and then uh he said that he was just trying to get in one more like ticket and it kind of pissed me off because i'm like we're like when you say you're trying to get in one more ticket so you're freaking sitting here trying to find someone to get in a take a ticket to meet your quota not knowing how this affects someone's life i don't care at the end of the day I'm not going to put someone else in a bad situation to benefit myself. There's one reason for when I worked for Lowe's, we had to sell those credit cards. I did not sell them. And you say I don't work at Lowe's now, but I didn't sell them because I saw they were a ripoff. And most people would go to pay their money and they would get charged like extra if it wasn't paid for this day. And some stuff they couldn't control, they still would get charged for it. So I would never on this planet rip off someone or try to hustle them in the way to where it puts them at a disadvantage. And he was like, yeah, I was just trying to get another ticket. Just because you were trying to get another ticket, this dude decides to speed off because he doesn't want the ticket. I don't know if he that weed. I don't know if he was drunk. I don't know if he sold a car. Don't know what it was. But then he runs me off the road if i went have got off the road i would have got hit a toyota corolla if that car gets hit i'm done that car can't take a hit and i and it's like you know like i'm very content with the car but at the same time i'm content in knowing that car cannot take a hit i stay out of the way of 18 light wheelers i stay out of the way of suvs i'm that car that gets over and out of the way gets my signal and politely gets over because i know that my car does not have that much speed and i don't want someone to get road rage on me because i can't show them up in that car so it doesn't matter but anyway he says this and i'm like this dude was trying to get a ticket he said i don't know he might have stole the car or he's just drunk and i'm like this car has taken off he's like at least going 95 or over 100 miles an hour on the interstate this car is gone he was like yeah i'm just gonna call off the uh the uh chase so you just can call off the chase what what else could this guy do so of course i overthink stuff so i'm thinking this stuff in my head but on the inside i'm like you know what just drop it just drop it caleb not worth it and i wasn't like i'm not gonna say anything so i like put my hands on like the car and i'm like man just a few more breaths and I'll be good to go. So I'm trying to get back over and go because my plan was to finish that workout, take a shower, and then I was going to uh, work on the video because I got the bread 13s. But man, this like, this just kind of like, it like opens your eyes a little bit and all that stuff. Like I, like, I think if you've been watching my vlogs, I've been grinding and trying to do little stuff as far as acting or be an extra. And I have one this Tuesday, which I can't wait for it. And uh, 
it's like, you know, like I'm trying to live my uh, dream now because it just hit me like you never know when it could be your last day or when something stupid like that can happen. So this was supposed to be a very short vlog that was just supposed to have to do with me getting the bread 13s, which I'm happy I finally got them. And then I was just going to do the video and try to go to sleep because I'm going to go to church tomorrow. But this happened, and, you know, like it's crazy. I feel like I'm getting a little tired, like my adrenaline. It's starting to go down, so I might <laughs> not a, not like upload the video until tomorrow. But you know, I can't believe that happened. So to all the Deadpool Toys One Two Army out there, please stay safe. And I'm gonna do something new. So what I'm gonna do is, everyone that subscribed, if you subscribe publicly and I can see your thing, I'm going to actually uh, what's the right thing? I'm gonna do a video where I just call out your names, and I might massacre and chip chop and screw some of your names. But I'm gonna go through and just load them up, and then I'm gonna call out all of your names. And if you have a name that's kind of I'm like, oh, that's a cool name, and if it's like a completely weird name, like, I'm, you have a weird name, but you know, I still try to call them out. Now, I'm thinking I could do a video where for some of y'all, I can look at some of your channels and all that stuff. Most of y'all don't know, I actually do check out your channels. If you subscribe to me, some of y'all have some subscribers, so I do look at your material. And some of y'all, I don't even know if y'all know that, but if you upload stuff, some of y'all have uploaded stuff, it said six years ago, five years ago, and I'll watch it just to see the type of stuff that you do. So I do browse through you guys' stuff, and some of you guys have some good things, and I do subscribe, you know. It's uh, a few that I've sub sub subscribed to. But yeah, so that's my story, and to me, like, it's just stupid that a dude... Like, how he worked, like, I could be wrong, but how the cop, like, worded it, him saying, I'm just trying to get another, like, ticket, and this dude, like, going over 95 miles an hour, if he would have hit a small Toyota Corolla, that Corolla would have went flying. And then, at the slam on brakes, not to hit the bulldozer that they left there in the grass, because they had been, um... What's the right word? Because they've been doing construction. So I guess they finished the construction, left the bulldozer. They had to slam on brakes before I hit the bulldozer. But it's crazy. I might think about that from time to time. But here I am in a, in a good state, got in a good workout. And, you know, I'm like, okay, well, like I have all these plans. And then anything can happen at any moment. So y'all just stay safe. And I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for staying with me. And this channel is random, but you know, I do a lot of stuff and I'm going to try to make it entertaining in any way possible. But more action figure reviews, more stuff on shoes, Jordans. I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to start to do my thoughts on like different things and, uh, and we'll see where it goes. And also I want to continue the vlogs, but this is Deadpool Toys 1, 2, hashtag 1, 2. I'll see you guys in future videos. Bye. Yo, I'm filming this like on foot, but man, it's hot out here.